time I call this special call meeting to order. Mr. Brown? Not a call meeting, not a call meeting. <laughs> anyway, we're here today to talk about SDS and uh, particularly Section 2 of the Water and Sewer Agreement. Um, the way this came about was based on trust and it's a simple language that covers, we feel like it covers what DCA is looking for. And the first statement in it talks about the maps that DCA requires. So that's the reason that statement's in there. The second statement talks about any current governmental, intergovernmental agreements that we currently have will stay in place, which makes sense. Where's the document? It's, uh, you, you can see it on your iPad. iPad, yes. Chairman Scott. We have a part. Okay. Yeah. But it's uh, so the same statement just basically covers that any intergovernmental agreements that we have currently are uh, stay in effect. And the third statement basically any extraterritorial agreements that are requested in the future is that will you know, the two affected parties, the, in most cases, it's going to be one of the city council and the county commission sit down and negotiate the best thing for the community as a whole. So the, that's all that's in that section two, and it's all based on trust. And it's us, it's the county commission trusting the city council, of whichever municipality it is, to do the right thing. It's the city council that. Has to trust the county commission to do the right thing, and it's the citizens trust in all of us to sit down and do the right thing for the community. It should cover everything DCA wants. It should cover our needs and the municipality needs that uh, if something if something arises in the future. Would it, uh, with your permission, I'd like to ask the uh, county attorney to read the highlighted portions that. Uh, Commissioner Brown was referencing. I have no objection to the commission sign with it. Sure. Yeah, the, uh, the portion Mr. Pritchard asked me to read is the bold portion. This picks up at the bottom of the first page of the agenda item and carries over to the second page. Um, uh, it says, in regards to water and sewer services, colon, paragraph, the party's current water and sewer service areas are delineated on the water, on the service area maps attached to the DCA forms for water and sewer services approved herewith. All existing intergovernmental agreements of the parties regarding the provision of water and sewer services shall remain in effect. Any request for an extraterritorial extension shall be negotiated by the requesting party and the affected party. Approval of the affected party shall not be unreasonably withheld. Any so, questions in regard to that line? No, I think it's important, Chairman, to, to point out too, just to piggyback off what Commissioner Grounder said, that this, is a, this, this was a result of, of a council person specifically Andy Gibbs reaching out and saying, requesting that that we simplify this, that it had gotten to the point where that he felt like that it was overcomplicated. So the simplicity in this is, is, is at least mutually agreed on by, I mean, that, that was a result, I guess, what I'm saying, the request from the city, from the city council. Okay. Are there any questions? Just want to make sure from, from um, I guess, uh, Mr. Elliott said a point that it addresses our concerns that we've had in the past uh, as a county, you know, incorporated areas as well, as well as the uh, concerns that the citizens, uh, I guess, pertaining to the commercial side and the city limits uh, as well uh, might have had. Just want to make sure that it's pretty much along the same lines of what yes. was discussed in the past. Yes, sir. Okay. And I just want to commend. Commissioner Bryan, Commissioner Evans, and Councilman Gibbs, and you know, for their effort. I mean, I, and, and Mr. Uh, Vickers. So, Councilman Vickers has been on the uh, council for a while, and so uh, to see him participate in this process, you know, I, I feel good about it. If he's on board. Okay. 
Any other questions? Did right. I get a motion? Motion to approve joint resolution, SDS agreement, and DCA forms as presented. Okay, then we have a motion to approve the SDS um, language and the DCA forms. Do we have a second? Second. Do we have a second? Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, it's unanimous. All right. Sit down. Okay. Any other business? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn.